In this video, we're going to apply what we've learned about solving proportions to solving problems that involve similar triangles. So uh, first of all, when I say that two triangles are similar, what I mean is that if they have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size, they are considered similar triangles. So if you have two triangles and one is just essentially the blown up version of the other, then you would say that those triangles are similar. And the key to similar triangles that will allow us to solve problems that involve them is that if you make ratios out of the lengths of their corresponding sides, um, those ratios will be equal. So in this example down here where we have two triangles and we're told they're similar and we are asked to find what this unknown side is right here. We can use that fact. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, first of all, when I say corresponding sides, what I'm referring to is the fact that, well, I have this unknown side here, right? And we're going to want to involve it somehow in an equation so that we can find it. Its corresponding side over here in this smaller triangle would be 5. And it's its corresponding side because y is definitely the shortest side of this bigger triangle and 5 inches is the length of the shortest side of this smaller triangle. So they correspond to one another. So if I take y over 5, I should be able to find a ratio involving two sides that I know that are corresponding to one another and that ratio should be equal to y over 5 according to that rule that we were given. All right. So I had y over 5. In other words, the big triangle over the small triangle in this first ratio. So if I identify 12 and 8 to be corresponding sides, which I think it's clear that they are, then what I need to make sure I do is put the length from the larger triangle on top and the smaller triangle on bottom because that's how it was set up in the first ratio. And as long as I do that, this ratio will be a true proportion. Now with this proportion set up, we can cross multiply and solve our, our proportion in the familiar way. So we have 8y equals 5 times 12 and 5 times 12 is 60. And so of course we finish this out by both taking both sides divided by 8. And that will get y all by itself. And might need to do a little division over here. 60 divided by 8. 8 goes into 60 7 times. So 60 minus 56 is 4. Let's add a zero after the decimal point, drop it down. Eight goes into 45 times exactly. So this unknown side is gonna be 7.5 inches. All right, now before ending this video, let's make a note that this is not the only way we could have set up our proportion. Uh, there would have been nothing wrong with having the smaller triangle on top and the larger triangle on bottom, so 5 over y. And that would be fine as long as in our other ratio we did the same thing. Put the smaller triangle's length on top and the larger triangle's length on bottom. There is a, kind of a completely different way we could have set it up, um, and that is to make our ratios involve sides from the same triangle. So for example, I could have taken 5 over 8, in other words, the smallest side over the second smallest side in the small triangle. And that could be equal to the smallest side in the larger triangle over the second smallest side in the larger triangle. And that would also give us a valid proportion that would give us y equal to 7.5, just like we got.